Hey guys, Sawyer here of Pathway Machinery Agenture, Dalton, Oregon. Here to talk about some attachments that you can put on your loader by removing your bucket. So to remove your bucket, there's a couple quick lock pins on the back of your bucket right here. So all you need to do is to lift that guy up, take it out, and same on the other side. So now we're going to start the tractor, we're going to drop the bucket off the loader, and it'll leave these arms still on. So once the bucket's off, we're going to come over to our pallet forks, and we're going to hook up those arms the same way underneath this hook, and then put the quick lock pin in, and then we're ready to go. As you can see guys, that is super easy. One thing you need to think about is you need to counterbalance your tractor when you're putting the weight further away from the unit. So on this tractor, we have an AP10F pallet forks attachment. But what we don't have is something on the back to counterbalance the weight that we're doing that's further away from the tractor. What we've done is we've actually put ballast into the tires and that way we've added stability into the machine. Um, so types of ballast that you could put in, we put in beet juice inside of the tires, not calcium. They used to do calcium in the old days, but that will corrode your wheel or rim. Other options to do is you can have an implement out the back. So whether it's a box blade, a rotary cutter, or even a ballast box that attached to the back, as long as you have an offsetting weight, you're gonna be good to go. Hey guys, so along with this pallet forks and this 1025R tractor, what we've done is put an aftermarket canopy on top of the rocks. What this does is this protects us from the sun and maybe a little bit of the weather out here in the Pacific Northwest when it rains. We want to go outside and work, but maybe this will help us out and it's a little bit more of an economical choice than a full cab. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's toolkit video. If you want to see more, check out these videos here and here. Please subscribe to see more content that we're going to be putting out. If you want to follow us on our social media accounts, check out our Facebook and Instagram below. And if you want to do a favor for us, if you have any questions, please comment. We're happy to make any videos that you guys have. We'll see you next time.